Zappa, and this is Can You Yeah, he's right about that. But what he didn't mention is that tonight we're all about putting robots to the ultimate test. So, without further ado, now, entering the arena, a brutal contender for Roboticus past, a new design for Roboticus present. Who dares to tangle with the terrifying Panzer Mark III? This six-wheeled robot tips the scales at 210 pounds. Driven by seven horsepower and featuring tank-style steering, this aluminum box's primary feature is its lifting arm, capable of flipping a 300-pound robot onto its lid. And Panzer Mark III was created by Todd Mendenhall. Todd says building robots isn't rocket science, and he ought to know, he's a real rocket scientist. Panzer Mark III is his seventh robot overall, and his second entry in Robotica. He thinks this next generation design will cause even more mayhem than its predecessor. Panzer's back. I don't know about the other robots, but the bricks and cans are in trouble. And his opponent heads up, boys and girls, or should I say, heads down. With this button, it doesn't matter. It's Free Introverter. At 200 pounds, this three-wheel design is built for maneuverability. Able to run just as fast upside down, the 16-inch diameter wheels can hop over obstacles or debris with ease. And when it meets another robot, Three Introverter's 18-horsepower engine will drive that leading spike right into their cold steel hearts. And Three Introverter's design was conceived by Ted Shimoda. Ted holds a degree in robotics and manages his family's lawnmower business. He's built several gas-powered robots in the past, and Three Introverter represents his first attempt at an electric one. He plans to take this three-wheel bot all the way to the finals. It's got two five-horsepower motors. It's powerful enough to pull a half-ton truck up there. Now, now you know who's playing, and here's the game. We call it the gauntlet, and it's killed more robots than rust. Here's how it works. Bust through the wood, pummel the cans, beat the bricks, and waste the blocks. Through the rubble, then it's up the ramp, and through the glass, and the gauntlet's yours. Any questions? No? Now's the time to ask. Remember, there's no such thing as a stupid question. Let's go down to our robot expert, Dan Dinkley. One might assume that re introverters big wheels are giving them an edge in this event. And against a lesser robot, that might be true. But the luck of the draw has him running against Panzer Mark III. I'm not sure that anyone or anything can stop it. And I'll tell you why. I've driven this robot, and I was afraid to drive it at full speed because the parking lot we were in wasn't big enough. Plus, when Panzer pops up that front shovel, he has the ground clearance to fly over any debris. My advice to re-introverter, duck. Thank you, Mr. Tank. It's got the time. Boo, boo, boo! Burner, 
driving that motor, trying to get out of the gutters, but his wheels aren't finding traction, baby. Penn plows up, and he gets the bonus points on the crest of the strategy on the platform, pays off. Tom and Hall secures the final points and gives him the win of and the gun. Thomas, the three-wheel design shows stability problems early and Ted wisely avoided confrontation when the bots met at the halfway point. But on the platform, there was nowhere to run, and once Panzer lifted one of those back wheels, Reed Traverger was at his mercy. And Panzer Mark III beats the gauntlet into submission. It's Panzer Mark III with 80 over Reed Traverger with 70.